what's up guys welcome back once again it is me malt so happy to be here with you guys today we are on our town hall 10 and we are getting to town on our town hall 10 getting to town what am i even saying <laughs> i don't know i'm a little bit delirious i just got back into town from this weekend um had a lot of fun but uh i'm wearing my gunners right now guys if you want some for christmas uh whatever your birthday look out in the description there's a link down there you can click on for me um, and if you use the code MOLT20, it'll give you 20% off. I wear them a lot when I play Xbox. I've been playing a lot um, today when I got back and on my second channel, MOLT Play. So if you guys want to check out some sweet Xbox games, head over to MOLT Plays as well. That's in the description also. But what we're doing right now is another Clan War recap. Um, eliminate wars a lot. So um, it seems like you like the videos of the Clan Wars. The last one and the previous one did really well. So... Let me know down in the description or in the comments if you like these clan war recaps, uh, you know, showing my attack and then showing other people's attacks as well. Um, leave a like if you like it. Uh, that's another way to just show me that I'm doing good and that you like the video. So let's go ahead and jump into this last one. Here's our current one that we're going to be facing, the little uh, red dot. I'm going to be facing number nine as my main attack. We can go ahead and scout that and you'll see what it is. But obviously this is going to be in another video. So this shouldn't be too hard um, at all. I'm planning on attacking from the bottom because that... Um, area although it is open if i get my golems in there they should do a really good job of distracting and we should uh, be able to get another spell that way we aren't going to need a jump spell so we should be able to take out that town hall and we should be able to get ourselves uh, either another freeze or another rage so but we are going to go back and we are going to check out our last uh war right here that we did uh we won 93 75 we used um 83 of our attacks they only used 74 uh, and we did pretty well, so uh, we I can go ahead and show you guys the attack on my base. It looks like obviously the guy got two stars, but it's so close. It's this base is so close to working. I designed this base to make the troops patrol around the outside. So obviously the clan council troops do get pulled uh, fairly easily, which I knew was going to happen because of their placement. Um, we could move them up to the top of the base, honestly, maybe up to where, um, I don't know, we could just switch some things around and move it up, but I don't think that it's in a bad spot, uh, due to the fact that I want the base to do a specific thing. So the whole base is laid out so that the, uh, the troops as they attack will, will work their way around the base. So they're going to, they're going to be kited around it. So this guy drops his golems very, very close together, which is surprising and he gets them up in here and um i guess another thing i could do instead of having this point right here for them to just rage through um i could change that up some but you can see his golems are working their way in right now so they see all of these defenses and um they are going to work their way around so they're going to this expo right here they're going to continue working their way around to that tesla one of them is in the middle but you can see the rest of the troops are just walking around the base and not going for the town hall so the person that gets the town hall is the queen and she barely gets it um you'll see right so the so it i'm waiting for it <laughs> come on go down so the ex, the, uh, my, gosh, why am I stuttering so much? My king came over and distracted them. Um, and the queen right here is focused on it. And that single target inferno takes her out one second after, uh, the queen gets to town hall. So that was very, very close to just being a one star. So I'm okay with that defense. Everything else is still working its way around. You can see his Pekka's didn't even make it into the center of the base. Um, if they had things could have been different, but uh, I still have two Teslas up and they would have just ripped through the P.E.K.K.A. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's, that was one of the attacks against my base. Um, that same thing happened in the last war where a single wizard barely took out the town hall. So I'm just waiting, uh, I'm just waiting for them to, I don't know, for it, for it to work. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's watch some more defenses. Let's go check out Ollie's defense up here. Um, his base is pretty gnarly. He's got all these walls up here at the top. I don't really know uh, why, but the base seems as though it's working well for him. But that also could be uh, due to the fact that he has max heroes. All of his defenses are max. All of his archer towers and everything like that. So um, he's heading in. 
The attacker is heading in right now with a mass golem raid. And once again, guys, all of the golems are bunched together. So they're not doing a good job of distracting the defenses. Uh, it looks like he missed that Inferno Tower right there with that freeze. So that was definitely, that was definitely uh, the biggest mistake because that took out the majority of his uh, attacking forces up there at the top. I believe they were wizards and uh, maybe some witch skeletons and whatnot. But he's got his troops working his way around. His level 40 queen is doing work on the king, and the king doesn't even care. He's not paying any attention to her. He goes down very, very quickly. Um, but you can see they're just going to continue patrolling around, working their way around the outside of the base as the Inferno Towers do work on them. So I guess that, that is a pretty good design with how open it is. Um, it will take a lot for troops to get into the center of the base. Uh, I think he could have used the rest of his walls, but I don't know what for. It seems like the base is working. Um, let's go check out some of our attacks. So we actually two-starred their number one. They only one-starred our number one. Um, and let's see who attacks. So we've got uh, Sholly8577 going in. Their top person has a, uh, a max queen and a level 38 king. Um... So let's go ahead and watch this replay right here, and we will see what happens. This base is interesting. There are a lot of walls uh, in between the outside and the inside. Oh, wow. So he's got a lava hound to pull out the clan castle troops. Uh, that's interesting because if there were minions or, no, if there were balloons in there, then those wouldn't have come out. Um, that minion came out right there, as you can see. So he's going to pull them all out here. Drop down a barbarian, get some get some wizards up there to do some damage, um, as well as a uh, witch, and they are going to take that out. So he spreads out two golems. He only has two of them, and he's going to start working in the side of the base. So wizards are doing a great job. So he has a lot more wizards um, than most because generally people will use three golems. He is just using two. So there goes a perfectly placed jump spell, which will get them straight into the center. Um, where the town hall is. Uh, he does have max level heroes working their way in as well. Uh, so there is a epic battle going on right here. He's got some skeletons and some skeleton traps in there. Uh, you can see those causing some distraction. The, he's got some golems in the middle. It looks as though the queen... What is the queen doing? Do you see her just jump over that wall? Why is she... <laughs> the queen is ignoring the town hall right now. So here, here she goes. She's going to work her way over to the town hall. Um, take it out with ease. There's not going to be any issue whatsoever. The Pekkas are working their way down to the bottom. The Barbarian King is trying to work his way through there. I don't know why the Pekkas didn't just destroy that T-joint right there because that would have helped out a lot. Um, there goes the Queen. What was she just shooting at? She was being weird. Um, so the Queen is still wreaking some havoc. He's got what looks like... Is that one Pekka down in the bottom? Yep, the King is up. Uh, he's got that 55%. I probably would have called it right here uh, and tried to save my heroes. But his are, his definitely with level 40 heroes, I would have called it. Um, just because <laughs> they take forever. So there's his attack. We can go ahead and fast forward the rest of it. You're going to see his barbarians. He's got some. He's got a lonely little witch down here uh, who's about to get taken out. Oh, look at these little skeletons coming over. Skeleton trap and take it out. Nice. That wizard just owned them. He's like, screw off. So there we go with that. Uh, only 10 seconds left. Great, great attack right there getting all those troops in there. And then I believe that I attacked, somebody attacked my base uh, while I was gone this weekend. So let's go see, um, I think I attacked 16. Uh, who did I attack? No, here we go. So here's one of them, number 19. We'll go ahead and replay this and watch this attack. So uh, I'm using Go Wipe, obviously. And we've got three golems dropping off on the side of the base right there with our wizards coming in behind them. Witches on either side behind one of the opposing uh, golems. And then we get our wall breakers up in here as well. Now here's one thing that I do uh, almost mess up on is that jump spell. You can see that it barely touches that wall right there. Um, so I dropped that a little bit off. I should have centered it more on that expo, but it ends up not being too big of an issue. Um, and then, gosh, this whole thing, I messed up twice. So you can see that rage spell is barely on the edge of that. I was expecting them to get in there, but they head out and around, so that rage spell is practically wasted because they head out to um, 
go after. I don't remember what it was. It might have been skeletons. But you can see that the uh, the Pekkas don't even use that jump spell yet. They're going to use it once they get up in here. Um, they are on that rage spell right there. And here they go. They're going to come in here. They're going to take out that Inferno Tower in like one shot. Um, they're going to work their way around, take out the king, and then move in towards the clan castle right there. And then now in towards the town hall. So we've got the one star. We've got our 38%. We're going to continue working our way around. Uh, the Archer Queen is over on the side. I wish that she was on this side taking out that Inferno Tower, but she's not. We're going to drop off that last Rage spell, and she is going to continue doing some work. And then we are about to get that 50% right there, and then we're just going to let them finish it up. Again, I was gone at camp, so I knew that I wouldn't be able to um, raid again, so I just let my heroes go ahead and die on that one. And then I believe that we also we attack somebody else, but let's find some other attacks. Let's watch some three stars. So we'll watch this one right here on their number 22 account, a Town Hall 9 with some very, very nice walls. Um, it is a go wipe again with two golems. So he's got 10 wizards um, and he's got a witch as well. So he does a good job of pulling out um, the clan council troops with those hog riders. And then they are all going to work their way down here. It doesn't look like he has a witch. Um, in fact, all that he has is a wizard. That's the biggest thing that's going to cause a problem. And it's not even going to cause that much of a problem. Great, great job using those barbarians to get them all together. Um, that was awesome. And then that lightning spell is going to take almost all of them out. What is, le what is left right there? A barbarian and a wizard. So he's going to drop down his golems right there. And then there go the wall breakers getting in there. Um... And again, guys, this is a maxed out Town Hall 9 for sure. This thing looks really, really good. And he ends up getting a 3-star on it. So this is a great, great attack. He's got, however, both golems are on one side. Um, the P.E.K.K.A.s are spread out. And they're not even working their way in. Uh, one of them is going around the outside. Two of them, however, did work their way in. Um, he's got his jump spell. Two rages placed at the exact same time working their way in there, and I imagine he's saving his jump spell. Nope, there it goes. So the jump spell is over on the right side of the base, as you can see. He does have a free spell <coughs> trained up. His king is down. Uh, he's got his his P.E.K.K.A.s still working their way around. There's four P.E.K.K.A.s. I guess one of them came out of the clan cast, so I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, and then these golems are just continuing to work their way around and absolutely wreck this base. So there goes that freeze spell just to stop that Tesla from doing too much damage to that P.E.K.K.A. Um, since there are two of them on it. But again, we do still have, once that one goes down, one and two P.E.K.K.A. still alive. He's still got that golem down there. The queen is up there full health doing work. She is about to come in here and go to town on this Tesla and this Archer Tower. Um, he can use his, her ability whenever he wants to. I would probably use it unless he already has to give her life. Uh, but it looks like he already did because there's a bunch of archers up there. Maybe that's why she was full health. I wasn't paying attention to that. But we're at 99% now, and that is a great, great clan war attack. Um, again, guys, we, we did really well in this one. Uh, we might have, we were definitely uh, matched up a little bit better than them. You, we can go see uh, like some of their top people. Uh, have good bases, but they're not as good as our top bases in our clan. So that's going to be it for this again, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know down below if you want to see more of these clan war videos. Leave a like for me if you liked it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below for me. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you want to see some of my other more popular videos, check it out right here. Thanks for watching again. Peace.